I swear I didn't go looking for this. You would think that I did. But I heard a radio program where a woman was talking about how she has this brush where you can screw off the end of it and the inside is a knife. And she carries that around in her purse for protection. And then one of the uh, DJs started talking about how he had like several knives that he carries with him. And these all sound like regular people, you know, don't sound like any type of hoodlums or anything. And it was a female DJ. She said, yeah, she carries a knife. Or she, no, she has steak knives hidden through her apartment. These were people on Hot 97 in the uh, D.C. area. The Hot 90, No, it's Hot 99.5. I'm thinking about New York. This was in D.C., Hot 99.5. And uh, it reminds me of that uh, young lady I used to catch the bus with back in the day who carried around a dirk for protection. Dirk is this type of knife. And it was a nice knife, and she knew how to fight with it and everything, you know. I guess she felt like she could uh, share that with me because she knew I was doing martial arts. And she was like, yeah, you know, I, I use this. I don't do all that kicking and stuff like that you're trying to do. I was like, okay, that's cool. I understand that. But, you know, you can't always get to the knife. And I can carry my skills around with me everywhere. And my skills don't jam. So even if I can't do a high kick because of age or it's just cold outside and the leg don't want to go up that high, there's still plenty of places I can aim on the legs with kicks that'll just knock you literally right over. I still have hands, you know, and I can even pick up an object if I need to use it as a weapon. Oh, and the comedian Bill Burr, I'll say his name. Comedian Bill Burr, in one of his stand-up routines, he gets to a point where he's talking about using a gun. And, you know, everybody thinks the gun is just a, the most perfect weapon. And uh, he was, I forget the model of gun he's talking about, but he's saying that uh, it's so loud that if you were to use it at night, like if somebody breaks into your room, your bedroom, if you miss... Not only are you going to be blind from the darkness, but you're going to be deaf, too. It's going to mess with your ears. And then that, that can make the robber just beat you upside the head because you've shot at him and missed. And now he can just come in at close range. Which, in a way, it, I think is true because a gun is not really supposed to be a close range weapon. Sure, it can uh, kill you up close, but a gun is a distance weapon. If you use it on somebody, they've got to be, I would say, at least three feet away from you or more so that they can't grab it from you and wrestle you for it. So, you know, it just, to me, shows that I wouldn't say that martial arts are superior. That's a little strong of a statement. But that martial arts are a good investment because you take your body with you everywhere that you go. You're not always allowed to take a gun or a hidden blade with you and you have to get to the weapon I would say you know if you got weapons because I have a weapon and I can't carry my weapon with me to work but if I need to use the weapon of course you want to get to your weapon if at all possible but if not if your weapon malfunctions you know you fall back on your empty hand techniques plus the healthier you are because you practice your art, the better shape you're in because you practice your art. You know, regular practice leads to regular exercise, which will lead to better health, which will lead to better mental security and better focus when you have to defend yourself. So that's why, I mean, really your best method of self-defense is your mind. But a good way to keep the mind healthy is through a healthy practice of martial arts. Healthy practice of martial arts is going to mean keeping your body in the best health you possibly can. And how can you do that? Work on your cardio, your strength training, your flexibility, and your forms, and your grappling for coordination. And that's all I got to say about that. Peace!